Did you know that some of the most famous seducers or womanizers in history have left a lasting legacy due to their romantic escapades, charisma and ability to charm others? Well, this is the topic of today's ASMR. Let's discover some of the greatest seducers from all times with some very nice triggering facts and intriguing facts. First, now I think one the most known which is a symbol of this category it's Giacomo Casanova. Giacomo Casanova. So, so he lived in Venetia, Venice, Venezia. It was a Venetian adventure writer and diplomat who lived between seventeen hundred twenty five to seventeen hundred ninety eight. Well, when you say Casanova, that's a synonymous with seduction. He writes, he wrote his memories, Histoire de ma vie, Story of my life, a chronicles of romantic adventures and sexual exploits across Europe. He claimed to have seduced hundreds of women from various walks of life, which made him a symbol of adventure and libertine behavior. Giacomo Casanova. Next, it's a fictional character which is also a symbol of seducing. It's Don Juan. Don Juan. Well, this fictional character was created by Spanish playwright Tirso de Molina in the 17th century. In terms of literature, Don Juan is one of the most famous seducers. His character appeared in countless plays, operas, theatres, novels, representing the archetype of a man who seduces woman with just a little regard for their consequences. So, about these two, everybody, at least once, uh, has heard about. But the next one, the third one, is Lord Byron. Lord Byron, from 1780. 1824. It was a British romantic poet. What Byron has in particular, it was famous for its scandals and affairs. In his life, he had relationships with both men and woman, often creating a steer of high British society. His reputation for living a life of excess earned him the label of a Byronic hero. Byronic hero. Next. Well, let's talk about a king. King Henry the Eighth for fourteen 
1547. Well, his role was the King of England. Henry VIII was known for its six marriages, but also well known for its many extramarial affairs. His romantic affairs famously led to England's break from the Roman Catholic Church. So he called divorce his first wife, Catherine de Aragon. Henry's pursuit of woman, particularly Anne Boleyn, had enormous historical consequences. The Tudors. Right. So this one is the right. Henry de Well, let's say on the British soil, Britain, the next Charles the Second of England, sixteen hundred thirty to sixteen hundred eighty five. This is the time period when he lived. He was the King of England. Scotland and Ireland he is known with the nickname of Mary Monarch because Charles the second had numerous mistress and illegitimate child uh, children so his long lists of mistress included the famous actresses Nell Quinn and Barbara Palmer, Duchess of Cleveland. Charles Regain was marked by his court seen as just romantic pursuits. Romantic Percy Sweets. Well, we are approaching to our days. The next in the list Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, yes, the famous American singer and actor. From 1915 to 1998, he lived. Well, everybody knows Frank Sinatra. He's huge, a, a giant a titan in singing and acting Sinatra, but also was famous for its smooth voice, but was a legendary womanizer. Yes. His relationships with starlets like Ava Gardner, Mia Farrow, and Marilyn Monroe were highly publicized. His charms and styles made him, let's say, irresistible to many women from that time. That's the right story. Good. And the next one is someone who still lives. Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty, he was born in 1937. American actor and film maker. He is known for its high look and charm. Warren Beatty had romantic relationships with numerous high-profile actresses like Natalie Wood, Diane, Creed, uh, 
Diane Keaton and Madonna before settling apart with the Annette with Annette Benning. Pity had a reputation one of the were Hollywood's famous seducers. Well, next, Errol Flynn, 1909 to 1959. He was an Australian American actor. It's well known for his swashbuckling stories on Hollywood films. Flynn offer screen life mirrored his one of the screen image as a charming rock. He has numerous adventures relationships with women combined with wild lifestyle but this will lead to some leading some scandalous reputation on him. So does one stand up command all right. <laughs> Another prominent figure of the twentieth century Fidel Castro. Yes, that Fidel Castro Cuban revolutionary leader and dictator. Fidel Castro, the longtime leader of Cuba, was reputed of having many romantic relationships during his lifetime. Wow. And having also multiple children, some of them unrecognized by him. His power and charisma reportedly made him a magnetic figure for Cuban women. For Cuban women. So the best and brightest. Good. Wow. Next. So this one. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Well, he was the 35th President of the United States. JFK was known for his charm and numerous extramarial affairs, even while in office. One of his more alleged relationships was with actress Marilyn Monroe. His romantic Endowments have contributed to his lasting legacy as a charming figure. with many Hollywood actresses including Catherine Hepburn, Ava Gardner or Jean Harlow. His wild, eccentric personality made him a legendary figure and his affairs were part of his larger-than-life persona. Next is Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger, which 
was born in 1943. He's the lead singer of Rolling Stones. Well, Jagger particularly is known for its great voice, but also with men uh, well known for its many relationships with models and actresses. His charisma, fame of course, and musical talent made him one of the most notorious womanizers in rock history. He had several high-profile relationships with Marianne Faithful and Bianca Jagger. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. 1712 to 1778. He was a French philosopher and writer. Knows for his writings on philosophy and education, Rousseau had a notorious love life. His numerous romantic affairs, including with wealthy aristocrats and intellectual women, made him one of the most famous seducers that time. And the last one in our list, the famous painter Pablo Picasso, Pablo Picasso, oh Pablo Picasso, 1881 to 1973, he was the famous Spanish painter and sculptor. Picasso was not only known for his artistic genius but also for its tumultuous loves love life and affairs. He had relationships with many women and some of his affairs or women he seduced became his muses such as Dora Moore and Francois Guillot. His intents passions often left emotional wreckage in their way. Well, this was some sort of a more romantic ASMR session. I hope you enjoyed this. And, well, it's very good that we now know that these men have become iconic for their charm and the ability to seduce, well, these romantic pursuits, pursuits, whatever real or fictional, have entered in the cultural lexicons and symbols of a standard or of an archetype of a standard adventurer and womanizer. Until next time, of course.